<laughs> oh boy. That was risky stuff, but it did fly and it's gone downwind. Not in control there, Ross Taylor. Yeah! Got him! Yes! Big edge there, and Peter Fulton is on his way back round the wicket. Shot. Really good shot. That should go away for four. Just, yes. Oh, here we go again. We've seen this shot before. It's high. It's six. Oh, he was lining it up. He was lining it up down there, and that is using the wind. Oh, he goes again this time, and that's, uh, well, that's more control, and that's gone all the way as well. out no oh, he's got that completely wrong has grant elliott tried to sweep it just bowled around his legs and i don't even think it turned that'll do that was what they call a pie and it got its treatment and 50 for ross taylor oh, lovely shot really good back foot square cut this time it's in the air and it's huge it is over the road and down the lane pulls again where's this one that's in the gap really well hit well, that's aerial that is no chance of a catch it's another six for ross taylor it's gone all the way over the head of umar Gul. It'll be a, it'll be some print. That's four. Good shot. <laughs> Taking me right away from the whole game. That yeah! edge. Oh, they caught one. Ross Taylor's gone for 97. Oh dear me. Yeah. He's got that one better, and that should go for four if it gets onto the practice wickets. Doesn't need to. Still goes for four. Yeah. And he cuts. Typical Vittori cut shot. Same result in the last delivery. Oh, he's gone. What a beautiful bit of bowling. That spun sharply. And a very good catch indeed uh, by Cameron Akmal behind the crease. And McCallum is gone. Oh, wrong him. That was a beautiful bit of bowling. You had to think it was going close. Now, the only thing for me was height. Maybe Tuffy thought he hit it, but it was a wrong in, which is, means it's coming back in from off stump to hit middle. So we'll find uh, where it's pitched, at, and it's, the impact is in line, and, and so that's good. And uh, it's going on to, uh, to hit the stumps, to hit the bales. Field spreads now, and another one goes down. In fact, I don't even think second slip bothered. I think he just said, well, I'll only break a finger doing it, and that's oh. it. In fact, Oh, he's got that away. Yeah, pick up. Boundary four. Oh, Brian's got that away nicely. He's full toss. And he's just pushed it out through the covers, timed it well, and he'll pick up a boundary four. Up to seven. Tori goes in the air. It's straight to the keeper. They are unsure. Oh, he's dropped it. They've dropped another one here, Pakistan. This is becoming comedic. I'll give you the tip. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Well, I never. There you go. First one with the new ball. Daniel Vittori's nicked it to slips, and it's been taken. Macker, I'm going to catch my breath. You run through it. Oh, yes. One bounce for four. He's enjoying his time, what limited time he has left in Test cricket. Goes again, shovels it through the onside as he picked the gap. Yes, he has. Four more. Chris Martin at the other end. Edges this one. They've caught one. Oh, they got two catches in a row, Pakistan. And that's how they end the Test match for New Zealand. Bowled out for 263. 
It's been a very, very disappointing test match as far as New Zealand's concerned with their batting effort. So for New Zealand to get there, they would have had to create some sort of history in the end. They fell 141 runs short, 263. They managed to bat 83 overs this time around as opposed to not quite 37 in the first innings and that was the difference between the two sides. Uh, Ross Taylor, 97, another 90 in this series. He's start, starting to get a little frustrated with that, I'm sure. Uh, Vittori 40 and McCullum 24, they were the major contributors along with a little flurry from Ian O'Brien at the end, 31 for him.